class. It, right now it is, uh, it is uh, Kenny Perez, bike number 98, is the points leader so far on the Kawasaki in that class. Second in the point standings, Terry French. Of course, Terry's been going very well as of late, bike number 442 on that Suzuki in the 750 class. in the open class. Once again, Kenny Kapeki getting a lightning start. Will he lead him into turn number one? No. Chuck Magnuson is going to lead him into turn number one. This guy was a bullet last weekend, and he's starting off the same way he did last weekend. Magnuson leading Kapeki around turn number two. Here we go with the 750 class. Earl Ruloff gets that wheel up in the air, and it looks like he's going to lead him into turn number one. Earl Ruloff leading the 750 class. In turn number one, Chuck Gray is falling right in behind. So it's Roloff and Gray is one, two as they go into turn number two. Look at the lead Magnuson's got already in that open class. So we mentioned last weekend he dominated all the races he was in. The rider out of Chicago, Illinois. Magnuson, boy, he's got some kind of a motor on that one. And look at that. He's leaving Kenny Kapecki behind. And Barry Burke back there in third. contingent through with Chuck Graves in second spot, Kenny Perez running in third, then came Kevin Arian in fourth spot, then came Peter Christensen running there in fifth on the Kawasaki, and in sixth spot, 489, that was going to be Tom Kopp on the Suzuki. Surprisingly enough, Terry French not up there in that leading group. Uh, leading uh, overall right now, it's still Magnuson, and boy, he's really pulling out a big lead now over Kopecky and Berg. In fact, looks like Berg might have taken over second. Let's check this out. Here come your leaders. I'm going to try and get a lap time on Magnuson this time because Kopecky is always hovering around the 130 mark. Magnuson's got to be going under 130 the way he's flying out here today. Here he comes out of nine, coming down to complete another lap. He did this last weekend, won three races wide open, and he's doing it again. Kopecky having all kinds of problems with Burke. Burke's got a lot of straightaway speed, but then he breaks very early, and Kopecky breaks very late going into one and takes over second spot once again. This straightaway is just not long enough. It's roll off. Gray is hanging right on to it with Perez. Then comes Christensen now up in fourth spot. So Christensen on the move. Nitto, please. 
Please report to Danny Farnsworth's band, please, Walt Ditto. Please report to Danny Farnsworth's band. instruments or the tools to uh, CC a motor, we'd like to have him down the start finish line. Magnuson comes by uh, with a 131.6, 98.1 miles an hour for Magnuson. Chuck Magnuson out of Chicago, Illinois, as he heads around turn number one, a 131.6, 98.1 miles an hour for your leader. It's still Kopecky in second spot, Burke in third spot, and you're right, Larry, they go into turn number one about the same speed, but Burke's got to get on the brakes sooner because he's going in there a lot faster, and that's when Kopecky more or less takes that position back away from him. Here comes two riders side by side. Chris Mallory's one of them, and of course, Roloff in a heated battle with Graves right now. Yeah, a 750 battle catch in the open bikes right now. It still looks like it's Kenny Perez in third spot. for lunch right after this event. Breaking for lunch right after this event. Then we'll have a track tour, and then we'll uh, continue on. If we want to get some interviews here uh, during the lunch break, maybe we'll interview Myra this time. We're going to start the next race at 1.20. That'll be in about an hour and 10 minutes from now. That's it. Barry Burke, more or less, has uh, given second place to Ken, uh, Kenny Kopecky. Once again, Kenny Kopecky in a very lonely second place. He's been that way all year long. That's why he's got a girlfriend now, because he, uh, every time he gets out on the track, he's the only guy, there's nobody ever around this guy. Craig Beecher now running in third spot on the Kawasaki. And then comes Roloff running fourth overall, first in class, and Graves hanging really close to him. Remember now... On the Kawasaki, he's picking up $500, and Graves would like nothing more on that Suzuki than to snatch that victory away from him. But right now, Roloff looking good for $500 if he can hold on to that lead. Terry French, who uh, was going very quickly here the last couple of months, slowing down uh, tremendously down this front straightaway here. He's evidently he's got some sort of a mechanical problem, and he is slowing up. coming by again with about three quarters of a straightaway lead now over Kenny Kopecky coming down here in second. Magnuson on the Suzuki, Kopecky on a Suzuki, and then Craig Beecher coming by here on the Kawasaki in third. Coming in fourth spot, it's Earl Roloff, and Roloff creeping in on some of these open class bikes. Here they come out of nine. Roloff still isn't done yet. He's got Graves. Any kind of mental error on Roloff's part, and Graves will take away the lead. Here comes Roloff, and Gray is coming, catching up a little bit on Earl that time. Gray's got a good drive out of nine, and he's picking up all kinds of real estate on uh, Roloff as they go into turn number one. Kevin Arias trying to make a move for third spot on Peter Christensen. Christensen up there along with Aaron in that battle for third spot in the 750 class.
We need to see bike number 120, Walt Nitto, over there at a Danny Farnsworth fan. We've called you up there once, Walt. If you're not over there in the next 10 minutes, you're going to be disqualified for the whole day. Walt Nitto. Oh, we're going to disqualify you for that last race. So, Walt, we need you over there to, uh, to Walt, to Danny Farnsworth's van immediately. chance to uh, beat him and he did hold him off there so Graves may be in a good position to snatch one away from Earl here as they come down to the white flag